and uh, they just kind of continued that. Made six in the second half, obviously. Um, it's hard to win when you give up 13 threes. Um, we got to do a better job on the defensive glass. 12 offensive rebounds for them. Um, you know, I thought there was times where uh, we re really moved the ball well offensively, got some shots, but just not shooting the ball very well right now. You know what I mean? We just, you know, you got to, you got to make some shots. You know, and we're just not shooting the ball well right now. Um, you know, disappointed in the in the. Uh, ability to, to finish possessions both offensively and defensively tonight, and I thought that was the, the difference in the game. Um, the 13 threes, we did a good job at the free throw line, did a pretty good job taking care of the ball with only 10 turnovers. Um, but when the ball doesn't go in the basket, no matter how good the offensive action and the extra passing is, really puts you in a tough spot. And we're in a tough spot right now because we got some guys that are really struggling putting the ball in the basket. Coach, you talk about your, your team is struggling to finish offensive possessions. How do, how do you and your staff um, keep them from getting down on themselves? Well, yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's we, we got to, you know, continue to build confidence in them, continue, you know, again, with the group of new guys, there's some, um, uh, a little bit of uh, lack of connection on the, on the offensive end, but, you know, if you charted shots, you know, we had good shots around the basket in the post. Uh, we had some pretty good offensive actions where we got open threes. Um, so you, you just, you got to keep grinding, you know. You got to keep grinding and you got to tell them when you're open, you got to be ready to shoot the ball and shoot it. Um, and when you do that, you know, good things are going gonna, gonna to happen. And until that, though, as I said, you got to rely some on your defense, and and although the overall field goal percentage was was good again for us, holding the team to 33 um, percent, they made 13 threes. You know what I mean? And that's that's the great equalizer in the game. Uh, they went eight of 34 inside the three. Eight of 34 inside the three. So our perimeter coverage on the three wasn't as good as it it needed. Uh, needed to be. That um, at, at the end of the game, I thought you had a really good defensive possession, just didn't come up with that rebound. Um, could you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so we talked on the offensive end, uh, ran pretty good action, uh, get Murphy a pretty good look. Uh, and I said, remember, you know, end the game, you, you, a lot of times you win, win or lose on the second shot. And Boggs gets in there and puts it in to, puts give, it. to give us the lead on the second shot. Remind the guys about that going out there, and, and, and we did a good job. We went small and switched everything, forced a really tough shot from them in the first possession. But you got to come up with that rebound clean, because if you come up with that rebound clean, the game you win the game. You know what I mean? And, and we and and we didn't. And there was probably maybe my biggest concern and, and disappointment is there was probably five or six 50-50 balls tonight that we did not come up with. And where we're, where we're at right now growing as a team, you got to come up with those. And that was disappointing. Not coming up with that rebound clean and finishing off the game was disappointing. But then our coverage on the baseline out of bounds was, was good. We just, you know, uh, I couldn't really see it, but it, you know, you just can't let that ball get to the corner there. You know what I mean? And obviously the guy took a, a, a tough shot. But, you know, when you in a game like that, when you're not doing the things all the time that you need to do, sometimes that comes back to bite you, and it did. Only uh, nine points off the bench tonight. You know, we got good performances from, from the three guys, you know, Russ, Boggs, and Murphy that played, played well. You know, but out of those guys on the – other end of the rotation that are coming off the bench, how do they really start to make impacts on a more consistent basis? Because they've had flashes. Yeah, yeah, we need some more consistency out of them. Um, you know, and, 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 and some of it is, you know, a little bit lack of experience at this level. If you look at, at you know, three of those guys, uh, you know, this is the highest level they played at, you know what I mean? Um, one being a freshman, two being, you know, played last year as as freshman. 
Um, you know, so you just, we need, we need, you know, energy and production, maybe in some different areas in scoring from the, from those guys. Um, you know, taking care of the ball, playing good defense, um, and then making, you know, making shots. I thought, again, I thought DJ Patrick played pretty well for us. Sam did a good job, uh, especially at the end of the game in our defensive coverages and so forth. But, um, you know, we got some guys that are capable of playing better. We need them to play better, and I think they will. Coach Taylor Murphy's overall game tonight. Your thoughts? I, you know, again, I, I think offensively he's starting to figure a lot of stuff out for us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, the pace, his pushing of the ball was good. He made his free throws, which is critical. Um, you know, the defensive end, the rebounding was really good with seven, seven defensive rebounds. Um, you know, so again, I think offensively, I think maybe the, the, the one three was – Set, settled for that one a little bit, but then after that, you know, I, I thought, you know, he's, he, he played well for us offensively, played well for us offensively. You know, it's just, you know, I mean, the, the bottom line is, you know, um, we, we got guys who have, have played and, and they'll bounce back, but it, it's just going to be tough to, at this point in the season to, to be successful if two or three of your perimeter guys don't play well. You know what I mean? Don't play up to their capabilities, you know. Um, and that's a little bit offensively, a little bit defensively or, or overall. But, um, you know, we're going to expect more from them, and I think they'll produce. How important is this 11-day stretch before you guys lace it up again? How important is that going to be for just to, to, to get guys, you know, back in the gym and shooting again? Yeah, I think it's going to be really important. Plus, now you got a sample size of seven games um, where you get, you, we know our guys a little better and, and that they know what we expect and demand a little bit better as well. Um, but, you know, with, with that, um, you know, performance has to improve. You know what I mean? The performance has to improve. And, um, you know, again, if if we're going to struggle on the offensive end in terms of finishing plays and making shots and different things like that, um, then we got to be, you know, exceptional in every aspect on the defensive end. You know what I mean? You got to be exceptional. And where our two-point field goal percent defense was good, our three-point wasn't, and our rebounding wasn't where it needed to be. Um, because I, I know for a fact in the first half alone, nine nine points on second chance kick out threes. You know what I mean? Um, and, and and there was a couple, I'm not sure if they hit any threes on it, but I know there was a couple, you know, putbacks where we even got the rebound and the ball is taken out of our hands and they're able to put that thing back. So, um, you know, those those things are, we got we to gotta fix those. We got to fix those. That game winning three, look, me like it was one of the tougher shots they took. I thought it was defended okay. Yeah, I mean, I, it looked like he caught it and turned over his left shoulder towards the baseline and, and kind of threw it up, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, pr probably in that situation you can't, you know, because there's no movement there, uh -huh. you know, you, you got to probably take that pass away. That would be the one thing that we would, should, would do differently. Is the shooting uh, like a slump, you know, like they talk about a slump in baseball, you know, <clears throat> like this, in your head a little bit, or how do you, what do you? Like, uh, I mean, you know, the guys are, I, I give her, you know, these guys, they, they spend a lot of time, come in extra, get extra shooting in, uh, you know, so, I, you know, I don't know if it, it's in their head, you know, Boggs shot the ball well today. Um, I wish I knew, you know what I mean? I wish I knew. I mean, I, you got you to gotta be able to evaluate and see which, which of those shots are, are good shots that you can say, all right, that was a good offensive possession. And, and to be honest with you, I can't think of a ton today that weren't, you know what I mean, that weren't. Um, 
you know, so, and, and I don't, I, I think maybe some of the floaters and the runners in the lane, you got to maybe stay away from those a little bit. Right. You know what I mean? Because um, we're, we're, not, we're not finishing, and, and even if there's contact, it's, it's kind of a uh, less aggressive shot. You know what I mean? So you, you, even if there's contact on that, you don't get a lot of calls on those. You know, and, and you probably should, you know what I mean? As opposed to getting to the rack and, and playing with strength around there. Was it anything that they did differently defensively to stop like Dale Green to two points? Or yeah, well, he got 13 shots. Right. You, you know, uh, I mean, he, he got, he, he took a, a multitude of those runners and got a couple of them blocked where maybe some plays underneath were, were, were open. Um, they got four pretty good looks at the three. You know, the fifth one was the one at the end of the half. Um, you know, I mean, you got to eat. Again, you know, we shoot 37%, so I'm not one of those coaches that don't give credit to the team that we just played. Right. Obviously, they did some stuff well. They had, um, they had seven, five block shots five block shots, you know what I mean? So they did some stuff around the, around the basket as well. And they had only two steals, but five block shots, you know? So yeah, they did some, they did some stuff. And they're, you know, I mean, they're, 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 a, they play hard. I said that prior to it, they play really hard. Um, you know, so give them credit on that.